Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So a lot of things have changed and I want to do a quick update and some of the things to be expected on the channel. Success ESC testing, Neuroflight, CNC projects, X class DIY builds. So there's a lot of things going on right now. Um, I currently have to move into a new place and it came to me by surprise because the walls were basically falling apart in my other shop. So I found this place, it was around 50 bucks more expensive. So that brings our total to around 370 bucks. So that's really nice. And uh, it's all thanks to my Patreons that I'm able to afford this place. So that's a huge um, thank you. Now I do live in a cheap area in Europe, which is really nice. And that's what kind of helps me go through <laughs> with everything. So let's do a quick tour and let's talk about some of the things that I'm planning and that I will be doing here. Um, so there's gonna be a lot more possible vlogs like this of a update status of what's going on make sure you follow me on instagram because i'm going to be more dedicated on instagram as well and uh be sharing just quick you know previews of what i'm working on and what i have in my mind so i can get your feedback from there and know what to continue with or what to prioritize to continue from so let's start with a small tour not everything is here not everything is organized yet but everything is just put away so i can keep it less crowded in here so i can move around and find things that i really need uh, some of the most important things are here, so because the internet just got moved in really quick, I didn't expect that, so I had to, you know, 13 hours straight just moving back and forth with a small car. And I got most of everything here so far, so the things that I need if I needed to do something. Alright, so let's start with the tour. Uh, here we have my brand new coffee machine, which arrived yesterday. Now I ordered this from Banggood because I was absolutely sick of buying coffee from everybody. A lot of people run out of coffee, it's just terrible. Uh, this area, they, they just, yeah, just, yeah, just need my own coffee machine. I didn't want to wait for anybody. So I just come here in the morning. I found this on Banggood for 150 bucks. It's, there's two versions, but this one, you know, this is the one I could afford kind of. And I got this one with, it's an espresso machine that can make cappuccinos, which is really nice. And so far it's good. So if it goes bad, I'm going to come here and I'm going to complain. So you'll know if this shit goes bad because I have to have my coffees in the morning. Um, here is somewhat of a dedicated charging area, uh, still not complete, I'm putting some of the chargers here. I really like this charger right here, this little tiny little touch screen, because it's really cool because it saves the profile, it's like doo -doo -doo -doo. I'm done, starts charging whatever I want because of the profile. Alright, and up here we have my wings, not all my wings, but most of them. The Orbit is by far my favorite wing ever. It's so efficient and it just flies really great, especially with lithium ion packs, I can get like good 30 to 45 minutes of flight time, which is really nice. I have an update video on that very soon. The reason why I didn't is because the ESC died and I had to do a really, really uh, painful recovery mission. So, but luckily I got it back. I would have actually purchased another one. So also here we have the CNC machine. Uh, I'm gonna be doing a lot of CNC stuff. This is not, you know, the final organization of everything or the way that I'm gonna organize everything. And here I just got everything I could find that's camera related from tripods, selfie cams, blah, 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 blah. So I can figure out nice setups for each place and how I'm going to go about executing the projects while recording everything so you guys can see what's really going on. Here I just have my FR Sky boxes. One I use for Fat Shark, the other one's my horse because they're over there on the other side, which is back there because I was flying the uh, Leader HD in here because it's, it's a lot of space so I could fly around. TiVo Tarantula is going to be my flexible filament dedicated printer. It's gotten many upgrades, dual Z axes, uh, filament BL touch and now I'm working on a dual Y rail axis and then I'm gonna finally like modify it perfectly so it could hopefully it could print flexible filaments good if it does not then I'll keep it as a dedicated PLA and then my Creality over there as uh, the uh, flexible filament printer possibly here nothing really important just yet except these these are you know the most important tools two channel oscilloscope behind it is the four channel uh, 30 volt, 5 amp, small power supply for small projects to make sure I don't have short circuit and to also give power. Signal generator. Turnergy Evolution. Now I put it here because I finished the mod and this is a reminder to finish the video and finish the final execution of it. Now it works. It works uh, with the multi-protocol modules. Uh, it'll work with the Crossfire. It'll work with the R9M. So that's something really nice. Obviously latency will be somewhat added, but not by much. It's still flyable. I was able to fly. Now, actually, let's go check my recording area, maybe. Maybe some of you might be really interested in that. So, yeah, here we go. Uh, usually I have my black table here, but I, wouldn't be, I wasn't able to fit it in the car, so I have to wait for my wife's father to help me move those things, like the big things. Uh, here's the you know, soldering station if I needed to fi quickly fix something. 
and the camera and this you know this boom mount thingy I got this from Amazon it's absolutely it's really expensive and now it's just, like after two weeks it started clicking they were really afraid of it dropping my camera so it's, it's, it's supposed to be good theoretically but it doesn't seem that way here's my lighting setup I bought wall mounts to put these there so I could remove them from here uh, these I got from Banggood they're really cheap if I remember I'll link them down below my microphone, which I got from a subscriber, actually changed him with some ESCs or some something like a while ago. He gave me this microphone, it's an AKG microphone. It's a really good microphone, obviously you can hear it from audio quality. Not this one, but usually through this one. And he gave me this really old um, thingy. It's working, it was a pain to get it, find a driver for it because it's so old, but it's working great. I want to upgrade sometime, but I don't have the budget to upgrade just yet. But why upgrade when everything is working really nice? I mean, now nobody complains about my audio except recently because of the echo. Um, so I'm gonna have to fix the echoes in here very soon. The next couple videos will have echo. There's nothing I can do about it just yet until I get the foam things and then fill up the shop and then hopefully the echo will drop. I'm pretty sure you guys can hear the echo. PC setup right there, Creality, pretty basic stuff. And let's go to the back room. So the back room is also pretty empty. Hopefully this is where I'm planning on doing my CNC stuff. And my one of the dedicated printers here is going to be as well. So and and uh, this yeah CNC six S ESC testing stuff. So this is where it's all planning to be right here. So if we take a closer look here, I'm just going to give you like a really big kind of view. Those two tables are not mine. I'm waiting for the landlord to come get them. They're really pissing me off just in my way. And uh, let me show you what I have here. So here we have um, these are not drones killed in action. More like drones killed because I wanted something from them. And I didn't want to organize them, so I just dumped them out of the box because I needed the box while I was moving. And I don't know what to do with them just yet. So if anyone's interested, email me. Maybe we can figure out a nice thing so I get rid of them and also have a little extra cash to get some more things here to fix everything up. Up there, I just have a bunch of frames. And here I usually set up my transmitters. Not all of them are here yet. So Nirvana, X-Lite, two you know, RC cars. Here's some, you know, some of the things found on like drone mesh shop. Here's like the drone mesh split scene here, uh, right here. So if you can see that, these are the frames for the drone mesh split scene. And um, yeah, just some of the things. And this is my boxes here, like for my favorite receivers, or just like a receiver box, a VTX box, camera box, ESC and flight controller box, and some, you know, Arduino random bullshit box. Uh, down here, nothing really important, just some old stuff. Here is really, that box is really important. It's mostly SMD components, ICs, and things that I need for future projects. And what else do we have? Here's like a little camera box. This is what I take with me to the field. Not all the cameras are in here right now. But if we open it, this is how I usually take it. I think this came with the uh, T-Motor Falcon, a uh, little micro. So I just took, took the box and I put my cameras. Two sessions, you know, the cheap Chinese ones, Firefly, and the GoPro Session 5. Here's an antenna box. Not all the antennas are in there, but yeah, this is like for the long range stuff. So yeah, here's some more uh, quads and stuff. This is a really expensive power supply. It is uh, 30 volts, 60 amps, or I think, yeah, 30 volts, 60 amps. It was really expensive and uh, it's gonna be used very soon on the channel for stress testing. So this is really good because if, you know, if a short circuit happens, this will cut off and I don't risk catching fire. Hopefully this is really good for the price. Again, it's from China, so only time will tell. Here are just some other random bits and stuff. This one, I loved this charger, and it actually broke two days, yes, two, two days ago. How did it break? Well, I brought my friend in, and we were gonna fly the little micro, so obviously I brought this one to charge the smallest, three, the 3S LiPos. We plug, I tried to plug it into a wall socket, it wouldn't go in, so I used a different wall socket, and it went in, everything's fine. My friend came and we brought a 1S charger, which was this one. And uh, this plug wouldn't allow the other one to fit. So he had to move it and stick it in and the whole area, the whole shop just lost electricity. And it burned it. So what happened is I called the landlord, told him, well, you know, what the fuck? Now that's not good. What if I plugged in my CNC machine there? Who's gonna pay for that? And it turns out there's a piece of metal stuck in that wall outlet and this is the one that got destroyed with it. Maybe we'll take it apart and try to fix it because I really like this one. Like I really love it. It's one of the most proper chargers I have. It's really nice, it didn't even smoke or anything. It took the full amperage that the breaker, not in the shop broke, the breaker outside the shop turned off. So that's, that, that thing took a 
ton load of amperage and uh, didn't even catch fire. So that's really nice in that perspective. So again, that doesn't make it bad. That just makes the landlord bad. There we go. He's getting a bad review. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Hopefully he doesn't watch. He doesn't even speak English. All right. And um, let's see here. Here's just random bits and pieces. For example, LEDs, uh, some SMD LEDs, banana plugs, resistors, transistors, capacitors, and just random screws, random propellers, and random parts from, you know, like the camera boxes. You know how you get those random screws and, and nylon standoffs and stuff. And if we take a closer look here, I don't know what to do with this. I just put some of my quads that I fly here. Uh, like the new diatone. I really love the new diatone. It is a really good quad copter. Absolutely phenomenal. Hollybro Copus, 6S setup, ESC tester, motor tester, all those are there. Here are just some random things. I don't know what to do here. This is the first thing that I brought anyways. And down here I have my RC cars. And that's currently it, I think, yeah. It's just, uh, right now I just need to organize myself or organize the shop in a way for the CNC stuff and bring in the rest of the things and uh, I should be good to go with the projects. Meanwhile, you'll still see a lot of footage. I, basically, I still have, I have my recording set up complete here. Oh, and I also got sent these headphones from Mastrop. Uh, they're good, they're not the best, but they're really great actually. They're the best headsets I have, so. And they're like budget line AKG. So it's really nice because I also have AKG microphone. So that's really cool. And I've uh, never had really good head headset like that. So it's really nice to have them. Um, I, re I really like them. So I'm supposed to do a video on them very soon. So I'm just gonna, I'm just using the shit out of them and then just come back in with an update video and then share what I, my experience so far. And well, that's currently it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. There's a lot of things that are gonna be going on right now. And let me know what you guys think of everything. And again, I thank my Patreon support for all this. And if you can support me, that would be absolutely great to help educate and do some awesome, cool things. And, um, and a lot of testing. I really do miss the ESC testing. Now, I, I, you know, the main priority right now is to figure out the best uh, ESC testing setup in order for me to just quickly just drop ESC after ESC after ESC and have it just perfect. And I'll capture it all around the area. So you guys, because I know many of you will always wanted to see that. I'll do everything proper, so it's gonna be really nice. And well, that's it guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. I'll have a links, I'll have a link to a couple things down there. For example, my favorite charger over there, the uh, the coffee machine. If you could check those out, those just greatly support the channel. Any help goes an absolute long way, and it'll enable me to keep doing these things. And well, that's it guys. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.